Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Happy Wednesday. I need to apologize because I haven't been feeling well, so I haven't been uh, on my game with my projects. So this week I got my inspirations off of Pinterest and I know these items are kind of old, but I've never made them. And I figured if I never made them, maybe some other people have never made them. So I figured I'd make them because I want one. And I'd show you all and uh, hopefully you can get something out of these videos. So I figured I'd throw one um, Valentine project in here um, just to stay in the spirit of the holiday. And of course, Rosie has to help me. So I'm taking these uh, wood scraps that I had in my garage and I cut them uh, in just uh, certain measurements. I didn't really measure them, I just eyed it. And um, then I made my heart out of poster board. I used two pieces, and as you could see, I drew it uh, on a piece of paper first, and then I copied it on the poster board. I drew two pieces so I could double the poster board and make it thicker. Um, Rosie just will not give up on helping me today. She really wants to help, but I do finally get rid of her. Now, these scraps were kind of like as is, so I really didn't, I only had to cut like three little pieces, so that's why I didn't measure them. Now, here I'm using my glue gun, and then I decide to grab some wood glue, and I use both. Because I figured uh, it would hold a lot better. Now... I have to ask you guys, because I thought about this afterwards, what do I do with this now when I'm finished with it? I guess I could put hangers on the back of it and hang it on the wall, but I don't know. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it now when it's finished. And it could go on after Valentine's Day. I really do like it. I'll figure it out. I'll find something to do with it. Maybe I can put it in my bedroom. I don't know. I'm single, so uh, that's why I'm really not into Valentine's Day. My husband passed away, as most of you know. So, um, you know, I do believe in love, though. So, yeah, I can put it in my bedroom. So, right now, I'm just gluing the letters together. And then uh, each piece is going to be a different color. The first piece is going to be stained. And I use my dark walnut stain from Minwax. I really like this color. And I just rub it on with a uh, cloth and then wipe it off. And I advise you, please wear gloves because it's hard to get the stain off. Next, the next one, the E is going to be white with a little bit of black dry brushing. And then the V is going to be aqua with a little bit of white dry brushing. So here I'm just using my um, plaster color. Uh, paint from Walmart and um, I'm just applying it to the whole E very lightly and then uh, I go over it in a very dry brush of black. And I do the same thing with my V. So 
So as you can see, I'm taking my brush and I'm drying it off on a piece of uh, paper towel. And I'm just very lightly going over my E with the black. And when I get a couple really dark spots, I just go over them again with the white. And I'm sorry, you can't really see this. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the, um, the V. It is still a little wet, but that actually works out well for me because it blends a little better. I really like this color blue, this aqua. It's very pretty. Okay, so my next project is <laughs> this scale. And you know how long they've been out. I've been dying to make one ever since then. I'm using my cutout that I got from uh, the internet. I just Googled a uh, scale front and then printed it and cut it out. I'm using a planter, some Mod Podge, uh, paper plates and some Jenga blocks and that's it so the first thing I do is Mod Podge my uh, um, scale front to the front of the oven cover the oven uh, the stove cover grate the stove grate cover whatever it is And I'm using the small one. They come in a two-pack from Dollar Tree. And I'm using the smallest one in the pack. And I actually just end up doing the back of this. I don't put the Mod Podge on the front. And then I take the planter and I paint it black. This covers very well. This is the apple, apple Barrel Black Paint from Walmart, and I only use one coat. Covers extremely well. After I, um, I do paint the bottom of my plates and then I add my Jenga blocks to the bottom. I double them up and then I just glue all that to the top of the planter, as you can see. Now I'm going to make this hanging, um, actual, it, it's kind of like a hanging scale, but I'm using a real clock instead. And... At first, I chose to buy this white uh, basket, and I didn't like how it all looked together. So I changed my mind, decided to paint the basket, and I didn't have black spray paint, so I used my little sponge. Now, I'm using these chains from Dollar Tree. Uh, mostly everything I used today was from Dollar Tree, except for the clock. And, um, I realized that it's way too long. So I take it off 
and there these links are very easy to remove so I just hook them on and then I measure from the top what where I would like to have the clock and I just remove the links So I have it measured with my hand and you'll see I just uh, start taking off some of the links. And I don't break them, I just open it up a little bit and just slide them right out. Then I measure again and do the third one and that's it and then I take uh, the top hook off and I add it back to the original chains then I have my hanging basket and this this project was so easy i use little eye hooks um the clock is plastic and i just kept turning it uh with my hand and they finally went into the clock so i just hooked that into the bottom eye hook and i put one in the top and i'm going to use that to hang it i love this i saw this at hobby lobby and I really love how this turned out. I'm going to use this in my kitchen in my new house. So here you could see I'm just painting the basket, which wasn't a simple task. As you can imagine, I'm trying to paint inside all these little lines, but the sponge brush out made it not so tedious. So now I'm going to show you all my finished projects. And like I said, like, what do I do with this? I guess I can uh, hang it in my bedroom. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry it took me so long to get a video out to you uh, we figured out what's going on with me and hopefully I'll be on the right track now I not only missed making my projects I missed you guys and your comments so please leave me a comment and I hope everybody has a great week Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. I need the support very badly. Thanks again for joining me. Have a good day, guys. Bye.